Right, so when we get into ratio analysis, uh, the first part that we're going to look at is financial stability. So this is the ability to repay debt. And the first ones that we're looking at are the short-term ratios. So there's going to be two ratios that we're going to focus on um, in this section. Now, short-term, it means looking within the next 12 months. So we're looking at the current items on the balance sheet. Current assets, current liabilities. That's where our focus is. Now another word that you might see is called liquidity. Liquidity you know, is just the business's ability to meet its immediate financial commitments when they're due. How well can they repay their debts? Can they actually pay their creditors on time? Because some firms, well, you know, they can't. They don't have enough cash on hand. So these two ratios that we're going to do, these show how well they can pay their short-term debts. Those, short, those ones in the short term. So, here are the first two, um, they are called the current ratio, and then working capital. So we'll go through, I'll give some indication of you know, what's a good result, what's not a good result, and then um, you can practice them and calculate them yourself. So, the current ratio. Uh, current ratio is, this is the formula at the top, it's current assets divided by current liabilities. So if you don't know what that line means, it's just a divided by. So you take the current assets number divided by the current liability. Okay, so some context. Um, the current assets figure, this is what it says. It means for every one dollar of current liabilities we have, we have this much in current assets to pay it. So if it is maybe a for formula comes out to be like this. What this means is that for every one dollar of current liabilities that we have, we have one dollar thirty-eight of current assets, which is good. It means that we have more current assets than current liabilities. Now sometimes uh, they might be running low in cash, sometimes it's not a good figure, and so if you have something like this, this is the opposite. So if it's 0 0.8, for example, that means they have 80 cents in current assets for every $1 that they need to pay of current liabilities. So that's not a good situation to be in. So ideally, here's the ideal. So above 1 to 1, is a good place to be. One to one is the ideal, but the higher the better. So two to one, yeah, that's great. If it's below one, then that's actually a bad, bad sign. If it's below one to one, then you know it's bad news. They don't have quite enough to repay their debts. So that's the current ratio. A really good thing for every one dollar of current liabilities, this is how much of current assets we have. Now the next one is working capital. Now this strictly isn't a ratio. Um, this is this working capital is actually the dollar figure. So imagine, so it's I'll read it out. This shows the excess current assets if they were to repay all their current liabilities. So you have current liabilities. Imagine you've repaid them all with the current assets. This is how much is left over. So it says it should be a positive figure. If it's negative, then they've got insufficient funds to repay their debts. So yeah, so if it is a positive figure, then that's a good, good thing. But yes, if it's negative, then that's probably bad news. It means that they do not have enough current assets on hand to repay their current liabilities. So that's working capital. And working capital just refers to the process. You know, you need cash to buy your inventory, to buy your purchases, to then sell to the customers, and then the customers pay you cash, and then you use that cash again to buy more inventory. So it's that cycle that if you don't have enough cash, you 
find it hard to buy the inventory, to pay the creditors, to then make the sale, and it, you struggle to actually make it work. Okay, so uh, you can give it a go. We've got a little um, handout. We'll do the hotels as well. Um, so calculate the current ratio and the working capital for those hotels. And then we'll compare which hotel is best.